just being on the floor is different. So I would just say having the playing time before that, for sure. Hey, what are you looking forward to working on this season and what are you looking to showcase, especially now that the rotation is kind of geared a lot more towards size and length? Yeah, uh, I think defensively, just being a menace like one through five switch, being able to guard on the switch, guard, point guard, twos, threes, and all of them, switch on the five, like guard, bam, switch on Rosier or whatever it is. So I think just defensively being a menace, and honestly, just learn, like, we got CC, Larry, we got some new guys coming. Just learn as much as I can and hopefully uh, earn myself some playing time. Uh, Landry Fields was up here a few minutes ago, and he, more than once he mentioned uh, the off-season training activities, you know, the, the games or whatever from the last few weeks. What has that experience been like for you? It's been great. Uh, obviously, I haven't played basketball uh, a long time after summer league, but just having the guys in town and like I was saying, just learning from the new guys like Larry, like Dyson, Trey getting back, just playing and just, you know, trying to create that connection that we need to make a step in the season. So hopefully, hopefully it felt good playing with them and hopefully it can translate in the season. What's up, Mo? Uh, during summer league, Kobe Bufkin went down. Nicola went down, and so you were creating a lot of the shots that you may have typically have been. Uh, what do you feel like you learned during your experience as one of the primary shot creators on that summer league team, and how do you hope that will translate to this season? Uh, I learned that playing with them make the game way easier for me, and uh, just learn to be patient. Like, obviously, it's, uh, it's somewhere I've never been before, but I think what I learned from it, just be patient and, you know, having a great point guard help. The number one thing that you feel like you've improved during the offseason, training, getting ready for summer league, getting through summer league, and now going into training camp? Definitely defensively, like being able to guard one through five. I think I was doing a bad job using my hands and feet, but now I'm more comfortable using them. And I will say no matter where in the floor, I will be ready to guard. Well, other than training in the off season, what did you do for fun? Did you pick up a camera at all? Did you shoot anything? I did pick up a camera, but unfortunately I broke it. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so not good. How did you break it? Uh, I was just clumsy, like, I just, I just broke it. I'm, I'm really not good with it. But I went back home, which was good. I seen my people, and I think that's the only thing, two things I did. I had a vlog for Senegal, but Broken. Unfortunately, I broke the camera. <laughs> yeah. so. Good morning, Mo. How are we doing? Dating back to your time when you was at Wazoo, I've kind of always noticed that you really just wore your confidence on your sleeves in terms of when you're on the floor and playing. How has that translated to you for, you know, making your move to the NBA? And I guess, how are you looking to kind of put that into this upcoming season? Uh, I think that's the biggest thing in my game because obviously I haven't been playing basketball in for a long time. I've only been playing for five years, four. So being confident in my ability is kind of the most important thing for me. And I think every time I step on the floor, I try to just uh, build off that. And, you know, it don't matter if it's an NBA pickup game or college, I will always play with it. Hey, Mo. Uh, for somebody that's probably like a late bloomer when it comes to playing basketball, what are some tips, some advice that you would give them? Probably just work, be in the gym, and love what you do. Because my main thing was I just see myself getting better every time I work out, and I enjoyed that. So I would just say stick to the work. And, you know, it's chop wood, carry water. It will take a long time, but don't get discouraged. Um, when we spoke a few months ago, you talked about you know the training regimen and how 
you were constantly in the quest for gaining weight and trying to add bulk. Does that change when you're injured, and, and how do you feel about that process at this point? It does kind of change when you're injured. So when I was injured, I didn't move a lot, so it was easy for me to gain weight. So now that you work out and trying to gain weight at the same time, it's a little different. But thank God, like, I think we have a good team that helped me do that, and I was able to put about 10 pounds. I was 210 last year, now I'm 221, so... Morning, Mo. Um, last uh, off season, you worked a lot with Kyle Corver um, to work on shooting. Um, you did say you focused a lot more on uh, defense and guarding the ball uh, this off season. But did you continue any of that training with Kyle this off season? Of course. Like Kyle is always helping. I never seen any assistant gym like this. Like he always in the gym. He's always trying to help. And of course, we did work. We keep working on our shooting. It's just working our game overall in general, like Kyle, Epe, and all of them. They're just there to help. So every day in the gym we work on kind of everything. Awesome. Um, you shared uh, when, with Kyle last year he had you take off your shoes. Yes, Did sir. he have any uh, you know, s you know, techniques of training that stood out to you? Not, not, not this year, no. But I've seen him do it with Nico, too, the, of the shoes. So I guess that's a rookie thing. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Appreciate you.